स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया morning welcome to the third lecture of this course on architectural graphics so today we are going to learn how to fix a sheet so before i tell you about how to fix a sheet and also about how to prepare the layout of the sheet we will first understand how to ready your board so you may be using a big board like this this is a full size board which is available in the market with a stand and it is very easy for us to work so we could be preparing this board or we could be preparing a smaller board either of the boards they need to be prepared for reducing the unevenness of the surface so if you look at any board the board has certain texture so if we do not cover this entire surface we would see that the pencil won't actually run very smooth there would not be a straight line so what we will do we will cover it with multiple layers of paper so in the first layer i have used some two three sheets of paper and these two three sheets of paper we will first paste it on the board so half i have already done for you we will preferably try to paste it in such a manner that there are there are no creases on the paper it has to be absolutely smoothened out so that's the first part so once we have readied this entire newspaper thing we will then stick a thick sheet of paper of brown paper thick paper onto this sheet so let us now stick this brown paper so you can get hold of this brown paper and if you see the texture of it this brown paper is little rough from one side and it is absolutely smooth from the other so we will try to put the smooth side on the top and if you look at your board always you actually have an edge here this is used this edge on the left hand side is used to hold the t here i would be telling you how to use a t pulley so we would not be using it but in case you are using a t you have to keep this edge uncovered so right now i'm covering this edge here so let us cover this brown paper as well so this is how your board should look and if you now feel your board it has actually become little cushiony and if you draw on top of this you, the pencil will not uh, wave and it will not pick up the texture from the board now after this we will first fix the t pulley so there are three different types of uh, equipment tools which we can use we can use a mini drafter or a drafter this board will require a drafter 
Uh, this one is called a T pulley. As I had told that this T has pulleys. Now to fix this T pulley, what we normally do is, it comes along with a thread, a T pulley thread. So, so this is the thread. If you buy it from the market, you will actually get a synthetic thread like this or you can actually get a spool of thread which is of cotton and not a synthetic thread. You could use either one of the two and both of these they work fine. So, so what we have to do is we will need uh, some thumb pins. T pulley comes along with these small acrylic plates along with screws. So you could also fix the uh, these plates to the end, all the four ends of the board or you could also use these thumb pins. So what we have to do is that we have to put these thumb pins on the four ends of the board. So we put the thumb pins on all the four sides. And once we have done that, we will just properly secure the thread to one of the pins. Now, once this thread from one side has been secured firmly, you pass it through one of the pulleys and over the opposite sides bottom pulley. So, on one side we will we'll take the uh, top pulley and on the other side we are taking this bottom pulley and then we bring it to the pin which we have secured slightly holding the pulley in parallel to that it will it is not absolutely parallel right now but it does not matter because ultimately it will become parallel and then from one side of the board we come to the other side of the board and bring the thread back over the bottom pulley and then to the top pulley And then we will firmly fix it to the to the last pin. And your T pulley is now set. So if you move this T pulley like this, it is actually running parallel. It doesn't matter. Ideally, it should be parallel to this. We should preferably try doing that. But even if not, it will run parallel. Now, next what we have to do is we have to fix a sheet which is parallel to this. So, whether it is parallel to the board does not matter. What matters is that this edge of the T pulley is parallel to the sheet. Now, let me show how you fix the sheet. So, again this is a cartridge sheet. So, cartridge sheet has one side which is textured and the other side which is, which is smooth. Now that is up to you what you want to use but just remember that the smooth side can actually take very thin lines while if you work on the textured side you can you will be able to make thicker drawings but you have to be very careful as it may smudge because there is a little texture. So try your hand with both the rough side little textured side and the smooth side you can see the difference. Uh, and it is totally up to you what goes better with your hand. So try on both the sides. So now what we will do is we will actually slide the sheet beneath this. Now this is a small T pulley. This is a 75 centimeter T pulley. 
You could also get hold of a 1 meter tea pulley which is almost up to the end of the board. This tea pulley, 75 centimeter tea pulley is good enough for uh, making a sheet, a full sheet. This is an A1 sheet. We are not working on an A0 sheet. Uh, I will also tell you what are the different sizes of the sheets, but usually uh, for architectural graphics and engineering graphics, either we work on an A1 sheet or we work on an A2 sheet. We very rarely go for an A0 sheet. So what we will do now is we will see that how much can the T pulley go. Uh, wh what is the maximum that it can go up and what is the maximum that it can go down and then we will check if the sheet is parallel to the pulley and if it is we will just firmly secure the sheet in place with the help of these tapes. So you can use a cello tape you can just fold it make a loop out of the cello tape and stick it to the back of the sheet like this and now you can paste it. Now why am I doing this? So that the mark of the glue is does not appear on the top of the sheet. So this is an easy way and your sheet does not become dirty. So we will fix the sheet to the to the board. And now with this we are all ready to, to start drawing on the sheet. Now you can check. So we can check with the help of this set square. This one is an adjustable set square as I showed earlier. So you can check that this sheet is absolutely parallel to the T pulley and the vertical side is parallel to the set square. So now whatever we will draw onto this sheet will, will actually be in line and it will be parallel. Now the first thing that we will do in a sheet is to draw a border. If you look at any sheet whether it is architectural sheet or it is an engineering uh, drawing sheet we will always find a border to this sheet and a title block. Now the title blocks may vary. So before I tell how to actually draw the title block of this sheet, we can see how the sheets are divided. Now this one is an A1 sheet, the sheet which is here and the size of this particular drawing board is actually A0. So it can accommodate a big sheet of A0. So if you look on this, look at the screen, a1 is actually half of A0. Half of A1 is then A2 and further half is A3 and further half of that is A4. So how do you actually divide? If this is A1, I fold it like this and this half will actually become A2. And I further fold it like this, so this will become A3 and I fold it like this, so this will become A4. That is what the sheets are. You might be working on A3s, A2, A1. Usually we work on these three different sizes, A1, A2 and A3. A0s are also used in architectural and engineering drawing, but they often require bigger boards. Anyways, we... Uh, as the world has progressed, we have moved on to CAD softwares and you know there are so many digital tools available. But if we are doing it by hand, then A1, A2 and A3 is what we are normally using. We can see how the border or the title block of a sheet would be drawn. This is not a sacrosanct method. It is not mandatory to make a title block like that. There could be multiple ways. So instead of bringing the title block in the bottom, we could also be writing the title block on the right hand side vertically or we could just be making a small title block in the right bottom corner of the sheet. It depends upon what kind of sheet is being drawn. But what all information will the title block contain that is almost mandatory. So first thing that we require to represent to write on a sheet in title block is 
title of the drawing. What is this drawing about? For example, I might be explaining to you how to draw a plan. So maybe plan of this room. So I will write plan of room A, A, B, C, whatever. So title of the drawing is plan of the room. The other information which is required, who is drawing it? So if I am drawing it, so drawn by Avlokita. Now somebody will also be checking and verifying whether whatever has been drawn is correct, checked and vetted by whom. Then we also mention the name of the company, for whom do I work? So maybe I work for IIT Roorkee Department of Architecture. You may be working for different firms. So that information will also be given on the title block. Now for one project, there are multiple uh, drawings which would be made. So if I have to draw the drawings of this room, then there will be a plan, what we see from top, there will be an elevation, what we see in front, how the building looks if it is cut, if I want to see the ceiling, if I want to draw the detail of the chair, I want to draw the detail of the table and whatever. So we often give the drawing numbers. So there is a project number and then drawing number. So there will be a unique drawing number which will be given to each project which will also be mentioned here. The date when the drawing has been drawn that will also be mentioned here. So all this is mandatory information plus <clears throat> at what scale the drawing has been drawn. If there is a uniform scale for the drawing then the scale is mentioned. What side is north? North point will be mentioned. If there, if there are doors and windows, the schedule of doors and windows is often brought in the title block. So of, uh, in this title block, we will always have all the common technical information related to whatever is being drawn on this sheet. So uh, tentatively, the, the border of the sheet looks like this what we are seeing on the screen and this is what if the drawings have been done this is how the sheet would ultimately look like. So the common information will be on the title block either in the bottom or on the right hand side vertically. All this information will be there and there will be the drawing in the middle of the sheet. So that is what uh, we will draw. Now I will show you how do you actually draw the uh, border of the sheet and how do you make the titles. So what we are using here is oh, one is an HB pencil, the other one is a 2B pencil and I am also going to use one 2H pencil. So keep it in mind that we should always use start working with an H pencil and then move on towards the B pencil. Uh, since I am showing you only how to draw the border, I will be using all the pencils. But if you are working on a sheet which also has a lot of, uh, you know, content which has to come on the sheet, then you should initially work only with the edge pencil. And then once everything has been done, then move on to finalizing the border. Okay. So what we have to see from the left hand side, we will normally you leave at least 2.5 centimeters because this side may be required to actually punch the sheets. So there will may be multiple sheets and we may be required to fold them and hold them together. So from the left hand side, we will actually be leaving 2.5 centimeters while from the top, we will only be leaving so this is the 2H pencil which we are going ahead with. From the top we will be using leaving only 1 centimeter. So we leave 1 centimeter so we will only mark a 1 centimeter in the corner and 2.5 here. So I am starting with this 2H and I will work with a very light hand when I am working here. So I pull my T pulley all the way up. And very lightly, I will mark a line. If you notice my hand, as I move my pencil, I rotate it slightly. So if you rotate your hand slightly, 
you will be able to run this pencil for a longer time as it gets consumed evenly. And then, now if you have to put, use the T pulley and the set square as this, at the same time, you should always press the T pulley with your left palm with some force. Otherwise, if you do not press it hard, the set square will get inside the T pulley as you can see it here and the angle will change. So, you have to press it so that it remains firm in place and then lightly you can just roll the set square over the T pulley. So, then you just roll the set square. If you remember, we marked a point here at 2.5 and very lightly we will draw a line at 2.5 centimeters on the left side. We can do it the other way. We can keep the set square in the bottom. Now, on the left hand side, on the right hand side again, we leave only one centimeter. So, you can also make a 90 degrees like this. So, a very light line using a 2 edge. Sometimes you may not even be able to see these lines which are there and then we can also draw. So, in the bottom also we will have a 1 centimeter border and we can draw parallel lines with the help of the set square as well. Adjustable set square comes really handy when we are working on big sheets. So, we can work, we have to mark these lines. So, if you can see, I have very lightly drawn the border on all the four sides. Now, we have to draw the title block. If we are going for the bottom horizontal title block, then we will take approximately 5 centimeters. So, we will mark this 5 centimeter and then we may draw another line in this. Now, since well, we are not drawing anything on this sheet right now, I will darken it and I will show. So, this is this is the border. Now, you may use an HB or a 2B, always start with a lighter pencil and see that which one depending upon how much pressure you apply. So, different people apply different pressures, some people work with a lot of pressure, so they may need lighter shades of pencils while some may need a darker shade of pencil. So, it totally depends upon you. So, check for your hand pressure first. And then you can go on to darken these lines. Now, when you darken these lines, gives special attention to the points where two lines will be meeting, merging. Because often what happens that you, when you try to merge them together, there will be a kind of uh, disjoint or there will be kind of break which will come which is not very good and you should try to avoid that. So, for that reason you have to hold your T pulley and your set squares firmly and then draw these lines. And any good drawing is the one where you have a uniform line thickness. So, the line thickness should be absolutely uniform throughout the drawing wherever whatever you draw.
So this is how we will complete the border. Like this, you will complete this entire drawing and keep a duster all the time along with you because when we work with graphite pencils, they will always leave some dust and that, that dust has to be cleaned continuously so that the sheet does not smudge and it does not become dirty. Keep your equipments, keep your instruments clean, whatever you are going to be using. Because just like a writer keeps his literary creations, we as architects and engineers have to keep our drawings. So that is what we will do. All right, I, you can anyways darken the entire thing and then you will know that uh, you know that your sheet is ready at least the border of it. Now I am going to tell you how do you ready the, the title block. So we will leave approximately 15 centimeters from both the sides. And then And then make these two title blocks. So we are dividing this bigger title block into the smaller blocks. And then whatever we have to write. So you will draw the guidelines. So in the middle portion, I am going to write the title of the sheet. So for example, the title of this particular sheet could be introduction to graphics. So this space is what we will be using and please be assured that we do not use scale to do lettering on graphics sheet. You always do it freehand. Yes with guidelines, with the help of guidelines, but without the scale. So you have to make your hand so firm So, when we write on graphics sheet, we also write a no fancy writing because this is not to make our sheets look good, but this writing is required to convey the essential information related to this design. So how this design is going to be constructed is going to be communicated through this text. So there has to be no ambiguity and that is why we will use the very simple and usually in engineering drawing, engineering graphics, we use Gothic as a font. So in the next lecture, I will be telling you what are the different types of lines that we use and what are what is the lettering, how do we do the lettering, this is called lettering. So that is what we will be learning in the next class but I will quickly wind up here. So this is where the title of the sheet would come, the main title. Here the side 
we will write the name of the person who is drawing his or her affiliations. So you could write your name on the right hand side. It should be clearly seen on the right side. Try to keep your alphabets uniform if possible. Try as much. So you will write the name and you will write some other information whatever is required on the left hand side of the block. That is what you do when, when you ready your sheet to be, to be drawn with other things. So we will stop here. I would expect that you all learn to fix up your sheet on the board. You learn to ready your sheet with a border and when you come for the next class, you will be ready with at least one or two sheets with the light border without any title so that as you start working simultaneously along with the lecture, you will be able to draw along with me. You can keep looking at the lecture over and over again and you should be able to draw it comfortably. So, that's all in the lecture today. See you again tomorrow for the next lecture. Thank you.